Sometimes the deeper we dig, the stranger things get. Fossils are supposed to give us answers, but some discoveries only raise more questions. They're real, they're documented, and they don't fit into the timeline of life as we know it. These are more strange fossils that shouldn't exist in our timeline. In the 1990s, researchers in Nevada were examining limestone formations when they found something that made no sense at all. What looked like a perfect fossilized human handprint pressed into solid rock dated to around 250 million million years ago. The print wasn't just a vague outline. It showed finger impressions, a defined palm, and the kind of pressure pattern you'd expect from a real hand pushing into soft material. The rock layer was from the Permian period, long before dinosaurs, let alone humans. Some claimed it was proof of intelligent life existing far earlier than history allows. Others argued it could be a freak erosion pattern. But side-by-side -side comparisons with actual hand impressions made in clay were eerily similar. What Whatever made that mark left behind a mystery that geologists still argue about to this day. In 1851, miners in Dorchester, Massachusetts blasted through solid rock about 15 feet underground and found something impossible. A bell-shaped metallic vessel decorated with silver inlays split perfectly in two. The kicker is that the rock around it was pre-Cambrian conglomerate, estimated to be over 500 million years old. The artifact itself was clearly manufactured, not a product of erosion or natural forces. It measured about 4.5 inches high with an intricate floral pattern carved around the sides. Skeptics claim the object may have somehow worked its way into a fissure in the rock at a later time, but no evidence of a fissure was ever documented. To many, the Dorchester vessel is one of the most compelling examples of an out-of-place artifact ever recorded. In the early 1980s, a man claimed to have stumbled upon a hidden cave system in Illinois filled with stone tablets bearing inscriptions in multiple ancient languages, including Egyptian and Phoenician. What really shocked researchers was the fact that some of these carved tablets were fused into fossilized limestone that dated back millions of years. The site became infamous, sparking debate among archaeologists and fringe theorists. Was it a hoax or a genuine anomaly? Some of the pieces were examined and found to be embedded in hardened sediment that would have taken geological time to form. No one has ever found the exact location of the cave again, but dozens of these strange fossil embedded artifacts still circulate among researchers, adding fuel to one of the Midwest's strangest mysteries. In 1891, a woman in Morrisonville, Illinois, cracked open a lump of coal and found a metallic chain embedded inside. But that wasn't the only strange coal discovery from that era. Around the same time, miners in West Virginia found a small, intricately carved doll inside a coal seam over 300 million years old. The doll had delicate facial features and what looked like clothing folds. Coal is ancient, formed from planet material compressed over eons. So how did a man-made object end up inside it? Some scientists suggested it may have been modern contamination, but the surrounding coal was solid and unbroken before being opened. If authentic, it points to something intelligent existing long before our recorded history began, or time travelers. I know a lot of you were saying that in the comments of part one, so maybe it was time travelers. In the 19th century, miners in a county in California unearthed a fully formed human skull dated at over 5 million years old. The discovery was documented by Dr. J.D. Whitney, a respected geologist who published the find in official state reports. At the time, mainstream science dismissed it, claiming it must have been buried by accident in older material. But years later, re-examinations at the site found no evidence of disturbance in the surrounding sediment. That means the skull was likely deposited at the same time as the layer itself. If that's true, modern humans may have been around far earlier than anyone believed previously. In the 1980s, Dr. Dale Russell and his team made a discovery in Canada's high Arctic that left them stunned. 
what appeared to be a fossilized human finger encased in ancient rock. The fossil showed clear bone structure, joints, and even soft tissue impressions. CT scans revealed internal bone shapes matching those of a human finger. Here is the twist. The rock it was encased in is dated back 100 million years. That's deep in the Cretaceous period when dinosaurs still ruled the Earth. Scientists who examined the specimen were divided. Some believed it to be a misidentified marine creature. Others quietly admitted that the resemblance to a modern human finger was uncanny. In the 2000s, archaeologists excavating near Visoko, Bosnia, uncovered a tooth unlike they'd ever seen. It was a single human molar, measuring nearly three inches long, twice the size of a normal human tooth. The tooth was fossilized and found embedded in a sediment layer dating back thousands of years. There was no corresponding jawbone, but the sheer size of the molar suggested an individual well over 10 10 feet tall if scaled proportionately. While most scientists classified it as an unusually large but explainable anomaly, others saw it as potential evidence of a now extinct giant hominid species. It remains in private collection today, its origins still debated. In 1885, workers at an iron foundry in Wolfseg, Austria, split open a lump of coal and discovered something remarkable inside, a perfectly shaped iron cube with machined edges. This so-called wolf's egg iron was analyzed by multiple labs and found to be made of nearly pure iron with no sulfur or phosphorus contamination, unlike typical meteorites. The coal surrounding it dated to roughly 60 million years ago. Some scientists dismissed it as a piece of modern mining equipment that somehow got embedded in the coal, but early records showed it was found during routine coal delivery with no mine nearby. Its shape and age make it one of the most famous out-of-place metal artifacts in the world. In 2008, miners in Ukraine's Dontesk region discovered a clear imprint of a wheel with spokes embedded in a limestone ceiling 300 feet underground. The formation was dated to approximately 300 million years ago, and what made it more intriguing was that the wheel shape was three-dimensional, suggesting something solid once pressed against the soft sediment before it hardened into stone. No actual wheel was found, it had long since decayed, but the imprint remained sharp and defined. Miners photographed it extensively before the site was sealed. While geologists tried to offer natural explanations, none really fit perfectly. The imprint looks eerily similar to wheels from early human civilization, except this was hundreds of millions of years too early. In the Ica province of Peru, thousands of carved stones have been unearthed over the decades. Many depict dinosaurs alongside humans, advanced surgery, and even flying machines. What makes these stones particularly strange is that several were found embedded in hardened sediment layers deep beneath the desert surface, making some of them genuine fossils rather than recent fakes. While many stones have been dismissed due to forgeries in the 1960s, a small percentage tested as geologically ancient with particular is consistent with long-term burial. Among these are carvings of sauropods and humans interacting as if they coexisted. The mainstream view remains skeptical, but the fact that some stones are genuinely old keeps the debate alive. If even one of these is real, it completely rewrites prehistory. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.